Hello, welcome back to the farm. Today we're going to talk about bamboo. There are many ways to propagate bamboo. Look, I've got all my notes here. We'll show you some of the things that we've tried and how, they, how they've worked out. We are now professionals, obviously. I learned from YouTube and from trial and error. I'll post some of the links to videos that I learned from that inspired some of the methods below. Basically, there are loads and loads of ways to propagate bamboo, and you can have success with many different potential ways. It's kind of up to you to figure out what's going to be the way that works with what you have, with what you want to try. So this is just going to be to show you how some of the ways that we've done it and how it's worked out for us. Not everything we've done has worked, but I'll show you both things that worked and didn't. So we want to grow bamboo for a variety of reasons, uh, for building materials, for natural privacy fences, and also because it's beautiful and it's wonderful to be around bamboo. Uh, bamboo is famous for being invasive, so we've tried to get clumping varieties versus running varieties. And these are terms that you might see as you're looking at different kinds of bamboo. It's also things that you might ask, like if you're getting bamboo from a friend or a nursery, is this a clumping variety? Which means that all the bamboos are going to stay in kind of one little area like that in clump versus running, where they'll go out and really spread out and take over an area. So we tried to get all clumping bamboo. Uh, we have four varieties that we got from a neighbor and one variety that I got from off the road. Uh, and I'll show you a little bit about each of these. Uh, ba, 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 ba. We bought some bamboo from nurseries from the farmer's market, but we thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if you could take a single giant mature bamboo stalk and propagate many plants from that stalk, which is how a lot of places do it. So we were able, we have a neighbor that grows a number of varieties of bamboo, and he very generously donated for us, uh, like maybe seven or eight, possibly even more, full-size like mature bamboo. We were able to split these up into smaller chunks, and that's what we, uh, we grew. So uh, a little bit about our environment. Uh, we live on the east side of Hawaii, where we have plenty of sun, plenty of rain. At our elevation, we have a tropical climate, and it doesn't freeze at, at our low elevation. Uh, we get about 370 centimeters of rain per year. That's something to take into account because almost everything that I read about bamboo talks about how you want to keep the soil moist, keep it moist, keep it moist, keep it moist. Uh, around here, that's not very difficult to do. Um, in fact, we were probably even possibly too cautious in keeping everything moist. Uh, in your area, you might be drier than 370 centimeters of rain per year, so you please consider accordingly. Um, yeah. This is one of, probably one of the easier places to grow bamboo, but you know, in your area it might be different. So now let me tell you just a little bit about how to pick a bamboo. So if you, you have a friend that wants to let you cut down one of their stalks, how do you know what to get, right? So you want to get a nice mature one, but that's not like too, too old. Um, because what you're going to be paying attention to is, I can show this to you, at every node, of the bamboo, these are nodes, you can potentially get new plants growing, okay? So here is one place, this is an old piece, right? Nothing's going to happen with this piece, but this is an area where there was new growth. i can show you what the new growth would look like on this piece. So see, this is an area, this is the new growth. Each one of these little separate thingies could have become a brand new plant. The nodes alternate on the stalk. So here you have it on this side, then this side, then back to this side. And each one of these could potentially create one, zero, or multiple of these nodes. Okay? But there are many things that will prevent it. Like when, So when the plant is just in the ground, it has roots from the bottom. These generally won't make new roots, right? And so th on this old piece, you can see that there are no roots here. No roots. When you cut the bamboo, this bottom part, the main stalk, will not regrow new roots, right? This will not regrow. So what you're trying to do is to kind of get the plant to grow, to start making roots from these pieces. 
And there are many ways that people do it online. There are areas that say like, oh, like wrap this whole thing in soil, then like wrap, pl like drain it with water, wrap plastic around it, and then you might get something and like pack it with rooting compound and all that. We didn't really do anything like that. The main thing we did is with soil. First, I want to show you, though, we had a happy experiment. Here are a couple of bamboo that we cut that didn't make it into soil because they were a little bit skinnier. But I thought, let's just let them sit in this bowl with some water. And this is actually where we had something that I can show you really easily. So this already had some of these bundles, right? And you can see, this is where the root comes out of. It came out of the bottom of these new notes. Now this is about, this is like months that it's just been sitting in the shallow water, in the shade, and it's grown all these leaves since then, right? It put up new leaves and shoots. And this could, is like one, two, three, four, five, on this level. Then it sprouted extra, oh, got an entry in there, on this other level. And here we have one, two, three. As you can see on this level, it didn't really put out roots. It has some roots. But it, again, that's kind of like this is the area that got moist, or it might, you know, it might be the area that you cover with soil. And you want these new growths. That's the plant that you're kind of, this is the clone of the plant. The main thing, this main stalk here, is providing support, extra nutrients to, ensure, to help this baby plant thrive. You could actually cut this baby plant off, make sure to hold the bulb, and root it in water. And we had some that successfully kind of grew like that, but after the same amount of time, they had a much smaller amount of roots than this. Having it be attached to the main one seems to really help it be strong and robust and go faster. So the main, what, what we did was, you want to first of all have, if you're doing building type, which is what we want to do, you want to make sure that the main stock that you're picking from is an inch or greater in diameter. One inch or greater. This is about, I believe this is about an inch. You want to make sure that these little nodes haven't been cut off. So like our person that we got these from had already trimmed some of these freshies. You see how it got cut there? This one got cut. He cut or broke them off. This one also. When it's been cut like this, it's already like done its one burst that it was going to do, and it won't make another one. Okay? It won't make another one. This one also got cut. That's the reason why none of this got planted, is because all of these had already been cut, and they won't make any new plants. The general thing that we tried, because you can get new plants, from each node, we wanted to see if we could really do that. So what we did is, we would cut it slightly below the node, maybe like an inch or more, or less, to you, slightly below, right? You want to include this node. And we would cut it up to the next node slightly below, right? So you have a tall pipe on top and a short pipe underneath the node. And you have a bunch of pieces that are like tall pipe, node, short pipe. And then the same up here. Tall pipe, node, short pipe. Tall pipe, node, short pipe. So that way, out of like a full, this is just a piece of a bamboo, but out of a full bamboo, you can get 10 more, you know, depending on how much of it is an inch, up to where it gets to be less than an inch. And then there's other stuff that you can do for like the skinny boys like this, right? This is too skinny less than an inch. That's why this one got tossed in the weeds. <laughs> what you'll end up with is going to be a bunch of things like this, right? Here's the node, the short pipe, the node, and the tall pipe. Some things we read talked about cutting it on a diagonal. That didn't really, I don't know, maybe it had an effect, but it didn't really, I didn't really notice as much. And this is kind of what you want, this is like the ideal, right? This can probably be planted. I'm not sure, actually. We haven't tried planting yet. Because <laughs> we've had trouble planting things when they go from being in a full water to, like, just being in soil. We've had them dry out and die before.
but not with bamboo, but with other plants. So these, I've just been leaving them in water. I'm actually not sure when to put them in soil. The other, the main, so just, this is just to show you what's possible. We have other containers. I had similar bamboos, cuttings like this, in deeper water containers. None of them made it. So something about possibly having it in a shallow container, I don't know what it was. Right? Anyway, now you kind of see the basic idea of what you're aiming for, what you might want it to look like. Let me show you how we actually did it in place, because we didn't actually do most of ours in water. The main thing that you want is for it to be an area where they can be at least shaded part of the, most of the time, right? So this is where we have them. It's a pretty shaded area, protected, not a whole lot. They get some part of the day, but they're not really getting burned. And what you do is, so we have all these pipes. They can be really close together. They don't spread out. You can spread them out later, but so like these are all pipes. You can, you want them mostly upright, but these have all kind of fallen over. Let's see if I can dig one of these up. The soil, this is like a kind of a deep area, right? And uh, the soil we used is mostly just mulch. That's the main thing we have around here. So here is one pipe. And you can see here the short pipe, the tall pipe, and the node. And what happened here? So there's actually root here. Can you see that tiny little root, that little white piece? Here's another little white piece. This is all new growth. It hasn't done, there's some other growth. I don't know if these are still alive. They look a little dry. Might want to put this in a, soft, in a wetter area, right? And the, what you do is you plant them in, you make sure to cover the bottom, the node, in soil. Having the node be covered in wet soil or water is the thing that tells the plant oh, I should be roots here. I should put roots down here. I guess I'm in soil. I'm in water. Let's put some roots down, as opposed to being in the air, where you're much lo less likely to have it. And that's why they tell you to cover the, so you cover the node. Some people say pack it in real tight. We don't, we don't really do that. We didn't pack them in like super crazy. And you keep the pipe, keep the pipe topped up with water. If you might, if you're cutting it and you cut it a little too much, your pipe might not hold water. We found that they didn't really take when the pipe could. All right. And just so we keep the top topped up with water. And I did it every few days or so, but it wasn't, they didn't evaporate too much, right? That's what I'm getting at. And so we have a whole row of them right here. And this is the kind of growth that we have gotten. So right now it's September, and these were planted in mid-May, which is about five months. So wait, May, June, July, August, September. Yeah, about five months, four, four or five months. And this is the kind of growth that we've gotten over here. I don't know if you can tell, but they really are all piled up right on top of each other here. Okay. They really, they don't care. Not all of these made it, but a lot of them did. So we had one that we accidentally cut with the top. See, we didn't leave the top open. It accidentally got cut over the node. This node had, doesn't have anything on it, and it never sprouted. So we accidentally cut it on top. The thing about bamboo that's really cool is that they store water in here. So when we first got it, yeah, you know, I don't think it has any water in it right now, but when we first got them, they were filled with water, and you could shake them and hear the water. You can actually drink the water. It tastes cool. If you ever get a chance, drink some bamboo water. So let's see what happened in this one. This one, I presumably, it wouldn't have water. You know, we wouldn't be able to keep this topped up, but look at that. There's still growth in here. This is new growth. This is growing. Look at that. Roots. There's a bunch of new growth. And you see how there's like, it's really moist in here, right? That's really what you're going for. But the other interesting thing is that this one, which had the sealed top, so you couldn't 
has done has gone much slower right than some of these other ones look at how much this progress this has made compared to this very little i'm gonna stick this in back the soil that i dug it out of is quite moist just so you know the soil should always be kept moist and i've actually seen videos where people say use like more like mud right almost like mud to keep it moist but here we have very high humidity and oh, feline cameo that's tax so we're going over to our second bamboo planting area this is the second patch right here so we planted, we tried a few different things. These are all planted in one bed, right? Those were all planted in one bed. That seems to have done really well. But I've also seen people plant in individual containers. We also have a few containers that have like this type of five or six. And you can see this has made a few as well, right? This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven-ish, right? This made a few, here they are. But we have other ones that are stuck. No, continue. All right. So this one right here has uh, about seven or eight, as I was saying, uh, bamboos in there. Some of them grew, but some of them didn't. And we have other places where we planted similarly, like one to five in their own container, right? And they didn't really do as well. It might also have a, to do with the variety. So we have a variety called uh, Black Laco, which is a beautiful dark brown, purple, black bamboo. I don't think, I think none of them. <laughs> Zero of the Black Laco. Welcome back. Tux is here to help us with the rest of the video. So this is our main, uh, our second large patch. There are maybe 40 to 50 in here right in this tiny area it was just a pile of pipes and now it's turned into this sort of small forest the soil i used in there is mostly mulch but there was also in part of it some manure and also like kitchen scraps whatever i've i read that people are like use the very highest quality stuff you have that's kind of what people were suggesting using your good your good good soil so let me see if I can pull one of these out and show you what we've got here. A lot of these, these are quite properly rooted. So here's one that didn't do anything. And this is one where we cut it wrong. It looks okay, but it didn't hold water. Nothing happened. I should just pull it out. It's been five months. If nothing has happened in five months, nothing is going to happen. Oh, these are in tight. You used to be that you could just pull them out. Well, let me just show you here then. So here you can see there was one node, one node down here. Here's the pipe that was open, kept topped up with water. We buried this with soil buried the node pack things in firmly around there and these are all live branches that are coming off this one even has a little sub sub branch little sub node coming off right there not all of them made it right not all of these turned into anything like that one got cut off nothing happened but five potentially five new plants from one segment of a, a 10 segment bamboo i think that's a pretty good outcome Again, here, the, those black lacos, nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. This area, here is what the node looked like. And I think that this looks like it could have been something, right? I don't think this was cut off. I think this is like a pre-bud, right? But somehow it never, it never took off. Maybe there's something else that needs to happen to get them to go from this stage to being much bigger. I've had other ones like that were at this stage that I put in water and they just rotted. So that's what happened to that. 
So that's the main technique here. This area, I kept it, it was kept, stayed pretty wet. Uh, again, it rains a lot. I kept these pipes topped up with water almost all the time. These days I do it less because look, look at this result. And the area that they're in is like mostly shaded, but it does get sun. And during hot periods, I would, you know, do extra. And so this is, I think, you know, I'm very happy with this technique. I think it's yielded a lot of success for us, both in this area and in the other area. We haven't tried transplanting any of these yet, so that's the next question. But this is, if you want to get them to root, if you want to get them to start putting out new leaves, this technique for us at least seems to work. Now I want to show you one more technique that we got that was like our most low effort technique, because this took a, quite a bit of effort. Basically, when we first got the bamboo, you know, you have to cut each of them into a bunch of segments. You have to look at each segment to see, oh, was it cut? Is there anything here? Is there a bud? Right? You want, I, is it dead? Right? Sometimes the bud is dead and nothing is going to come of it. When it's all brown, nothing's going to happen at all. So, you know, you kind of have to go through that process. So is it more than an inch, less than an inch, etc.? So it took about two days to uh, process all the bamboo stalks that we got. Here's one, let me show you. This is the deeper water that I was talking about that it's been sitting in. Nothing. Just nothing. This area also did nothing. I don't even know why I have it in there. Maybe something will happen someday. These are a bunch of pieces that were less than an inch thick. Right? The stem is less than an inch thick. So they've just been sitting here. This is our Azola pond. So the final method that you can do is to bury... I'll pull this out and then talk through the... Yeah, at the camera. All right. The final technique that you see in a lot of places is to take the whole thing sideways and bury it. Make sure that each clump gets soil on top of it, that the whole thing stays wet, etc. We've tried this method before, but it didn't really take. We did it in a sunny area, I think, and it just got too dried out and died. This is a piece of bamboo that I took off the side of the road. Um, and I literally laid it in the shadows over there. You want to see? You want to point? <laughs> no, you want to see it in the shade? Okay. Wait. So this is a thin piece, as you can see, less than an inch. We might have had more success if it was greater than an inch. I didn't even really bury it in soil. I put a little bit of mulch on top of each of these nodes. Most of them, nothing happened. But on this one, dun 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 dun, dun there's not really any visible root. But it is alive. And I should probably put this somewhere else so that it can continue to grow. Again, it was not in soil very low effort. But around here, you can also do stuff like that. There are plenty of plants that you like set in the corner, cover with some leaves, and they'll go to town. I think that might be unique, not unique to our area, but unique to an area like ours, where we have a lot of sun, a lot of water. Things are always perpetually moist. But if you are curious, very, very low effort solutions might work for your bamboo. If you have an invasive bamboo problem, you might be like, yeah, no kidding, I'm aware of that. There are many ways, in conclusion, this is all I have to show, the last thing. There are many ways that you can propagate bamboo. You can even cut this little pit off, I already talked about that, and do it in water. You can keep looking online, many varieties have been developed. These are just a few of the ways that we've done it. We've had some success, some failures. I hope this has been helpful for you, that you feel confident in your own bamboo propagation journey. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions or let me know how your bamboo propagation goes.